Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel or you do not know who I am, my name is Jacob and this is Vintage by Jacob. Now I am a full-time online reseller of vintage and basically any type of clothing I can get my hands on and resell online. Primarily sell on the Poshmark app and that is where I make my full-time income. Like seriously, all my checks come from the Poshmark app. It is crazy, but yeah, this is literally what I do for a living. So if you watched my last video, uh, I briefly went over a few items I picked up uh, while I was running errands in town. I actually uh, stopped at this thrift store that was having a crazy 70% off sale on a lot of different things. I'm actually in the parking lot of that thrift store today because I got about an hour to spare. I'm gonna go in, see if I can source some more items and bring you guys along the way. So yeah, it is a beautiful 30 some odd degree day here in Minnesota. I don't need a jacket, nothing. It is absolutely gorgeous out. Uh, the weather has me in a really good mood. Super excited to go thrift. I figured, hey, just come take along. Hopefully we can find some profitable items. I wanna show you guys kind of my my process of how I how I work through these sales like this, the items that I look for, what I think is valuable, what I think isn't. So yeah, let's just go hop into the thrift store um, and start sifting through the racks. Also, excuse this uh, big pink tub. This is actually what I use when I bring uh, items to the to the post office. I fill that full of the orders, carry it in. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of an ugly tub. Works super well though. All right, so here's the thrift store, the treasure chest. So it looks like jackets are 70% off, which is crazy. I'm just gonna rummage through these. I always like to hit the jackets first. It just seems like jackets are kind of the, the highest dollar ticket item that I sell. So it's just kind of nice to, to get jackets out of the way because those are pretty much my most profitable items, especially when they're 70% off. Uh, and it looks like we have a nice Converse jacket. It's like a canvas jacket. It's only gonna cost me a buck or two. All right, boots are also 70% off and I found this really cool pair of Sorrel boots. These are vintage and they sell super well. Throw them in the cart and call it a day. So I already brushed over this, but I didn't check the tag thoroughly, uh, which is a mistake a lot of people make, but this is actually a down vest. Uh, it's made with waterfall down, uh, which means it is a decently sought after vest, so I'm gonna take it. Okay, so I actually dropped this shirt, but I am gonna take it. This is a vintage graphic t-shirt. It's really cool. It's a long sleeve Henley style. It's only a couple bucks, and it's just got a really cool graphic on the chest and on the sleeve. Any sort of vintage graphic style shirt does it really well. I got a couple other items I got in there. I'm just gonna brush through the shirts. Um, typically at this thrift store, it's kind of hit or miss for shirts. Uh, you can find some really cool vintage shirts sometimes. Uh, when you're looking for vintage t-shirts, you kind of just gotta look at the graphic and if it's a cool graphic, just like this, this Disney shirt right here, it's on a really nice tag. That's a nice find. Uh, it's going to be a buck fifty for that guy. But you kind of just want to look for like unique items with really cool graphics. Uh, definitely look for the single stitches. You've probably heard that before. Items that are single stitched are a good way to age them. Got a nice little Hurley shirt right here. These do really well for me specifically. It's probably a $12, $15 item. Check it out. Adidas polo. Ah, it's an okay item, but I think I'm going to pass on it today. Um, but yeah, I kind of just look for for any type of brand that I'm, I'm I'm comfortable with reselling, like the Hurley, Nike, Adidas, those are all good brands to resell. Any good outdoors wear brand, like the North Face, uh, Patagonia, or even like this shirt right here. This is a Volkswagen Beetle graphic shirt. It's got a cool graphic on the back. Um, so 
for this instance this shirt like the beetle the volkswagen that's kind of like a like a niche like people who drive those probably are kind of like in a niche of their own so there's probably somebody out there looking for a for a cool beetle t-shirt on the secondhand market um so yeah that's probably a good item to resell i'm gonna take it a lot of a lot of you know you gotta sift through a lot of items in order to in order to find the ones that are profitable but once you get good at sifting through it just starts to make the process easier and it looks like we got this really nice Columbia titanium yeah this is a really good uh, item to resell they sell super well the titanium series really nice quality back to the drawing board keep sifting through this is a nice item uh, these guide series are made by Gander Mountain uh, I've sold quite a few of them in the past they don't they don't sell entirely too well take a little while to resell but definitely a decent item if you can find it for the right price um, I think I have a couple of them already so I'm gonna pass on it today um, a lot of polo shirts, a lot of just kind of generic stuff. You just kind of got to kind of keep going through the process and, it, and it, hopefully it'll it'll spring items for you to add to your inventory. That's kind of what I found. Just like the this nice Sturge shirt. Looks like there's two of them. Yeah, these are really good resellable items. Motorcycle. Finish it off. All right, so I found this really cool... I think it's an Alaskan City vintage t-shirt as well as this Jordan t-shirt. The Jordan brand sells really well. It's only a couple bucks, so I'm going to take right, both so I of these. just got back from the thrift store. All as right, so the men's sweaters are also 70% really, really off. Really I picked cool up a ton. Items. I got this nice Tommy really one, a St. John's Outdoors inventory. one, this vintage um, yeah, the racing one, which is like awesome. And I also got this Ted Baker store. one, which is a really a good brand to resell. This vintage off. embroidered one, um, and the prices uh, this Crimson Tide hoodie, and also this vintage bum equipment hoodie. Definitely some good items. And then I found this vintage flannel line jacket and this not a Kind of if I were to rate this, I would shirt. say this it's is an all, old tag. You know, it's super rad. I also found this Cabela's um, vintage t-shirt. It's embroidered, I super cool. And then this Polo the Ralph scale, Lauren like sport gonna be your graphic, $10, not items. graphic, but like uh, the B items athletic. are going to be your fifteen to twenty dollar items, and then um, anything like A or so is going to be um, twenty and above uh, profit in my mind per item. Uh, so I think definitely got a ton of B grade items. I have no doubt in my mind that all these items will sell between uh, 12 and $20, probably average around 15, 18 dollar range, uh, which is super rad because they were dirt cheap. I actually have the receipt right here. I'm gonna go through the map with you guys, kind of break down um, kind of how I average out uh, these little inventory haul hauls and how I kind of see myself making money from it in terms of uh, my labor and stuff like that. So actually i got 22 items okay and the 22 items cost me 57 dollars put that up to the camera 57 dollars for 22 items um i already did the math and i'll throw it on the screen as i walk you through this but that means i paid just over two bucks per item it came out to about two dollars and eleven cents per item which for a local thrift store is actually dirt cheap. Um, I've told you guys in the past, uh, when I go to the bins, I typically pay between a dollar or a dollar and 50 cents per item. When you go to the bins, you have to spend a lot of time sifting through items in order to find the good quality items that the bins have to offer. Um, and typically the bins items are in between the C and B grade. Um, in terms of how, in terms of how, what I would categorize the bins items as, I find a lot of ten to fifteen dollar items there at the bins. That's just generally what I find, but I can find a ton of them. However, I was in that thrift store for less than an hour, and I found twenty-two highly sellable, profitable items that I can flip probably within the next thirty to sixty days on Poshmark. Um, it was super quick. I was just literally in town running errands. I wanted to take you guys in. Uh, kind of give you guys my thought process, how I sift through items, and it's a super small thrift store, so I could sift through every single thing, make sure I, I thoroughly saw everything and was able to buy everything that I thought uh, made sense to implement into my inventory. So yes, let's break this down even further. This is the part. This is the part that I love about the business that I'm in because it just it's it just excites me and it shows me so much potential. Um, in terms of uh, once I get a real serious operation going with employees and stuff like the type of success that I will be able to achieve hopefully um, but yeah so like I said 
All this costed $2.11 per item. And again, like I said, these are all B-ish grade items. I, I Nothing in here, I don't think I can profit less than $12 on. It's gonna be between $12 and $20. So I took the figure $15. So at $15 an item, I have $330 worth of inventory sitting behind me in these three garbage bags, um, which will add, again, $330 to my total uh, Poshmark inventory. Um, in, in terms of my inventory, what it's worth as a whole, it'll add $330 to that. Um, and here's the cool part about it. I spent an hour in the thrift store. Uh, it's going to probably take me another hour to two to list and, you know, another hour in shipping. So if we average it down to about three hours of work uh, dealing with this inventory specifically right here, take the $330 worth of inventory I have behind me, take the cost away, which was $57 and divide that by three hours of work, you're left with $91 an hour, which is crazy, $91 an hour in terms of total hour work, a working wage. Uh, that's what this inventory behind me means to me um, in terms of my business. And granted, that number is always skewed. When you're an entrepreneur and a business owner, you can't track your income by the amount of hours it work, you work because you don't get paid hourly, you get paid by your results. Uh, but it's just a really fun way to think about it because when I hear $91 an hour, I, you know, if I was a kid, I'd be like, I can't even think of an occupation in the world that pays $91 an hour, doctor, lawyer, I can't even fathom them making that much money an hour. But, you know, I guess, yes, uh, I will be making $91 an hour on this. Um, but granted, like I said, I get paid off my results, not, not by the amount of hours I work. Um, but that's just one of the benefits of being a business owner. I own this inventory now. This inventory is mine. Uh, and I'm, I'm ultimately assuming the risk that owning this, uh, you know, $330 worth of inventory holds. And ultimately, I will be able to reap that reward in the future uh, of taking the risk and pursuing, um, you know, a business like this. That's kind of like how it works in, in the capitalistic America today, um, which is super cool. And it, and it gives me a lot of. A lot of ideas on how I can scale in the future and stuff like that, but here's how I look at it. I go to the thrift store, I source inventory, I sell it on Poshmark, all this stuff. I went through the numbers with you. This inventory is worth $330. It's not like I get the $330 right away. I already invested money into this. I'm almost out 60 bucks on this inventory. I expect it to sell between 30 and 60 days. So every how I view my income is is I am just trying to further benefit my future self and my future income. Um, I never look at anything on a day-to-day -day basis or a week-to-week -week basis I, or a paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck basis, um, even even like that. I always look at it as how can I add value to my business uh, so I can get a greater return in the future. That's how I look at it. And ultimately, I think that's going to lead me to scale my business to the biggest it will be able to be. Um, and that's just the reality of it. I mean. I mean, this is, like I said, $333 of inventory, but it's not, I'm not gonna get cut a check tomorrow for $333. There's a lot of work that needs to be taking place. Um, and I assume risk in order to, in order to provide this amount of work to me. So that's how I look at it. I'm just trying to benefit myself in the future and my business in the future. Um, and one step at a time, you know, deal after deal after deal, it gets bigger. The more inventory I get, it gets bigger. And yeah, I guess you guys are along for the journey, but I hope you're able to take something away from this. Uh, $91 an hour, that's what I have sitting behind me. Super cool, really fun way to look at it, kind of just a cool spin. Uh, but I hope you were able to learn something from this. I hope you were able to kind of see my thought process about when I'm in the thrift, what I do, you know, why I hit the jackets first and you know, what I look for in t-shirts and, and brands and all that stuff. Uh, I definitely think there's a lot of value to be had in this video. So if you guys appreciate it, the most I could ask from you is to hit the like button. That's honestly it, I mean, um, you know, you guys are the best. I've said that before and I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, send me up in the comment section down below. Feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to push out a ton of weekly content just to keep you guys motivated, motivated and just wanted to pursue your goals. Um, ultimately, that's my goal is to help you guys pursue your goals. So yeah, kind of a cool relationship. But yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys on Friday. Peace.